like I feel like I've been gone for like years and years and years but not nah, it's only been like a couple like a month basically you know like a couple weeks <laughs> for so long like I feel like I've been gone for like years and years and years but not nah, it's only been like a couple like a month basically you know like a couple weeks but anyways in this video I'm just gonna basically explain to you guys um, where I have been and I do remember before um, the previous video that I posted I said that I had big news to reveal to you guys um, um, concerning where I I was gone for the last couple of months I mean not months but weeks so the big news is I got my wings I am officially a flight attendant you guys it's so I'm like so so happy uh, let me just like explain like a little you know like a background story of like why this is such a, a huge thing for me um so like ever since I was like in 10th grade you guys ever since I was in 10th grade I've always wanted to be a flight attendant and um, I remember you know um, I don't know why you guys not even ever since I was in 10th grade I feel like when I was like a little kid you know my first time flying <laughs> my first time flying coming here to the US um, I would see like the pilots and like the flight attendants and I'm like um okay it sounds like a nice job you know um you get to travel um help people at the same time flying and i love to fly so anyways basically when i was like a little kid you know coming to the u.s um to now um i fast forward to when i got into college um that's when i started applying for like the flight attendant positions um i applied to several airlines and i in my mind i'm like you know it's like any other job, you know, send in your application, they're gonna call you for an interview, you know, put on your best face, you got it, you know what I mean, like, you, you, you know, you have the job, but like, I didn't realize like, it was such a process, you guys, like, being a flight attendant is literally a process. For some people, you know, they get the job right away, but for some people, it's like they have to go through so many um, thanks but no thanks, you know, until they officially have the job. And for me, like, I went through like several thanks but no thanks, but, um, Finally, you know, I got the job with an amazing, amazing airline and I'm just like beyond grateful. Um, when I got that email saying you got the job, you're invited to training, I was like, wait, am I reading this correctly? I looked at it, I'm like, OMG. And I, I remember I was like jumping up and down you guys and um, I was like, I went and like, I was screaming to my sister. I'm like, oh my God, I got the job, blah, blah, blah. You know, in my mind, I'm like, I got the job. I'm going to be a flight attendant tomorrow. I'm going to start flying tomorrow. No, you guys, like after getting that email, you got the job. It's an invitation, a training. Training is also a continue, a, a continuous interview, basically. You know, it's like a continuation of like elimination. It's not like it, like training, you know, they, they, are, they observe you at training. You know, they're still watching you to see if you're a great fit for the company, if you if you will if you would make a great flight attendant. So so anyways, um yeah, so I got to training. Um I I got to training, I believe it was like a couple weeks after, and you guys, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like I have to I I gotta you know my like the prior to me getting to training, I start, I was watching like a lot of YouTube videos as to like how um you know how flight attendant training goes so i was kind of ready for like what was coming you know i was ready for it so anyways i got to training i met my amazing roommates and i remember um you guys i love 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 my roommates they're absolutely the best and i'm so happy that you know i was able to make such a close we were able to have a close con we were able to have a, a good connection so anyways um we helped each other you guys like honestly i can honestly say if it wasn't for my roommates like like I, w I honestly don't know where I would be right now but like because of my roommates because we helped each other you know we were there for each other you know we stood by each other we studied day and night you guys studying was non-stop studying was like part of our life you know just because you got out of class going home does not mean the study stops like you continue you have to study because the exams you guys they were like back to back to back to back to back um but anyways uh training was definitely intense it was not easy like 
oh my gosh, like it, it wasn't easy, but it was all about your mindset. You know, it was all about you, you know, like either you can make it hard or you can make it easy for yourself. And I chose to, even though it was hard, but like I mentally thought of it as easy. You know, I, in my mind, I'm like, this is not hard, you know? And I feel like that's how I was able to make it through training was I basically like reversed, kind of like switched it instead of like me saying like, this is hard. I started saying, no, you know, I, I, I can do this, you know? Like, you know, like the previous, there was a previous class that graduated when we got there. They graduate. I'm like, if they can graduate, I can graduate. If they can make it through all of this, you know, I can make it through all of this. So I was, I was just, I was having like a positive mind, you know, it was all about having a positive attitude. And, you know, that's what also kept me through training. And also, you know, um, if it wasn't for God, I honestly would not have made it through because before prior to every exam i would call my dad i would call my parents and we would pray you know we would pray over the exam that i'll be having the next day um and i would declare like graduation day you know in god's hands and i i left it all in god's hands you guys i left it all in god's hands and look you know and he brought me this far he truly brought me this far and i'm truly 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 grateful um but you guys i'm i'm excited uh, my youtube channel is about to be lit i'm gonna take you guys on this flight attendant journey with me you know when i travel to like amazing cities amazing countries etc you guys are coming with me you know i'm taking y'all with me like my 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 vlogs are definitely gonna be lit um but i'm um so like as far as like when I'm, i'll be posting my videos it's not gonna be quite frequently um, I feel like until I get the hang of this whole flat attendant thing, then I'll kind of have like a little, like a set schedule of when I'll be posting my videos. But I'm definitely not going to post anything for like a month like I just did. You know, I'm definitely going to be posting like once a week, twice a week, um, ex you know, you know, as we'll see, like just, just stay tuned. Um, you know, don't, don't, don't get bored. <laughs> my channel is just starting to get fun. Like it's just. You know, I'm, I'm now just getting there. So anyways, yeah, so this video was basically to tell you guys of the good news that I am a flight attendant now. Um, and I'm just, I'm excited to see what this new chapter of my life is going to bring. And uh, yeah, so once again, thank you so much for watching this video. It's only about like 10 minutes, 8 minutes, like super short. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video with me. And uh, I uh, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, share. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy to be back though. Like I honestly miss my next video.